Hi, my name is Sarah, and you're not gonna believe this, but for the past week, my dad has been sleeping with my three best friends at the same time. It all began when my friends and I got the idea of starting a content house. Basically, we figured if we rented a place together and focused 100% on making TikTok videos that we'd be famous in no time. Except, when I asked my dad if I could move in with my friends, he got all overprotective and freaked out. There's no way in hell I'm letting you move into a thought house. But jokingly, he said that if I was really serious about my little hobby, that I should just ask a couple of my hot friends to move in with us instead. So just to spite him, that's exactly what I did. The only problem was, we lived in a two-bedroom apartment. So, when my three hot friends moved in, Rachel had to sleep on the couch, Candace shared my bed, and Jenny slept in the bathtub. It was a little unconventional, but we made it work for the first week. Until one morning, Jenny woke up and complained that her back was killing from sleeping in the tub. That's when, out of nowhere, my dad offered to let Jenny sleep in his room with him for a few nights. And weirdly, Jenny agreed. Now, I don't know what went on that night, but the next morning, Dad woke up early and made bacon and eggs for Jenny, and no one else. And for the next couple of days, Jenny seemed tired. She just wasn't bringing her A-game to our TikToks anymore. And for some reason, Dad kept treating her like a queen. He did her laundry, cleaned up after her, and even gave her pocket money. The other girls noticed it too. So, it was no surprise when Rachel woke up a few days later, complaining that she had a sore neck from sleeping on the couch. It was obvious that she was faking it, but Dad pounced on the opportunity. Oh, Rachel, that's no good. Why don't you join Jenny and I tonight? He suggested. That night, my two best friends disappeared into Dad's room. But his room was right next to mine, so I could hear things. Ooh, it's so soft, I heard Rachel say. Here, let me do it, Jenny's voice replied. I flicked on the light and looked over at Candace, who was sitting up. She'd obviously heard them too because her eyes were all weird and she had her mouth hanging open. Suddenly, a big smirk appeared on her face. I'm going to sleep in there too, she said, grabbing her pillow and rushing out. The next morning, Dad made breakfast for all three of my friends while they ignored me and sat around talking about some TikTok they had posted last night. But I couldn't take it anymore. What the hell is going on? I shouted. The girls looked at me strangely. Then they started giggling. Haven't you seen our latest TikTok? Rachel asked. It's gone viral. Everyone loves puss, Candace added. I grabbed my phone to check for myself. And there it was. All my friends were on my dad's bed. When suddenly, the camera zoomed in to show Jenny, gently stroking, the tiniest bundle of fur I'd ever seen. O-M-G. What is that doing in your room, Dad? I demanded. That's when Dad told me. The night my friends had moved in, he had heard a noise coming from the dumpster downstairs when he was taking out the trash. He had poked around and found the little kitten in a plastic bag. Someone had dumped it. I know you're allergic to cats, but I couldn't leave him there. Turns out my dad had been keeping the thing warm in his bed, and my friends had been sleeping on the floor in his room, taking turns to help bottle feed it during the night. Gosh, I was relieved. You don't even want to know what I thought was going on in there.